Hello, friends. Welcome back, and thank you for joining us here today for episode 13 of A Detoured Path, where we fully, firmly believe that sometimes the only thing we all really need in life is just a little reroute. My name is Chelsea Marie Maugé, and I'll be your host here today and every day on A Detoured Path. So to all our new and returning listeners out there, if you're finding yourself in need of a little reroute, are already meandering down that unforeseen pathway in life, whether by choice, force, or somewhere in between, or just interested in possibly thinking about things a little bit differently, this could be the show for you. We will be sharing personal accounts, stories, and a variety of perspectives in order to help us all gain a greater sense of community and connectivity in this little thing we call life. Just a little disclaimer before we begin. Though we do try to keep a mostly G and or PG rating here at A Detoured Path, we are discussing life, and life is not always G and or PG rated. That's just something to keep in mind in case you are listening with any little itty bitty titter tots present. Chelsea, tell me a story. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Jumbled confusion caught up in my head, distracted by things both written and read, startled by visions so clean and so bright, oblivion hitting from left and from right, fighting the vision's intensity bright, startled by details, the nuance, the light, stuck in the logic, that's why there's no sense, let go of the literal, the figurative is hence making the way for new things to come, experience breathing parts into my sum, trusting myself for the first time it's true, excited for things both written and new, listening and learning for what lies ahead, the signs are all there, soon they'll be read. Inner guidance suggests to get out of the way, if I give it a beat, it will all be okay. I'm stepping on markers, that's why I'm confused. Instead of stepping on markers, they'd rather be used. Maybe I'll listen, really hear them this time. By following their guidance, I know I'll be fine. Trusting the outcome as they point me along, and trusting the outcomes wouldn't be wrong. Inspired by growth and the new things ahead, Glad to no longer be stuck, filled with dread. Proud of myself for how far I've come. Proud of myself for both my parts and my sum. It's almost as if somewhere along the way I lost touch with myself, my abilities, my capabilities, the skills I have learned thus far, and all the God-given talents I have been granted and given, and just assumed that other people knew better than me and were smarter than me. What a concept. What on earth made me believe that? Hello there, driver. Where have you been? Thrown in the back seat like a looked-over friend. I gave you the boot because of thoughts not enough. What was lost was trusting myself with this stuff. Letting go of the reins, yes, that I sure did. Didn't realize at first that it meant that I hid. Watching them run so far, far from me. Afraid of my power, I wished not to see. By shutting it down and tucked tight away, why then shock or surprise, no power did stay. Mm. Okay, now we're cooking. Now we're really getting to the root of the issue. Okay then, self, are we really surprised? I mean, are we really surprised? What makes us think we could give our power over to someone or something else and then be able to just take it back whenever or wherever we wanted or saw fit. What makes us think we could have someone else make all the decisions for us and then still expect to be in a place of power? If we say, hey, excuse me there, sir, (laughs) could you please go and drive this horse and carriage for me for a while? I really don't want it anymore. What on earth makes us think we could then get that horse and carriage back whenever or wherever we wanted. 
Why would this driver suddenly want to give up this newly acquired power we just gave them? Not only that, but who's to say the horses would even come to us when we called? They don't know us anymore. We're not their master anymore. We abandoned them. Remember? Sometimes when we give our power away, we cannot get it back. So then, why do we give it away to begin with? Is it because it's easier that way? Is it because we don't want to have to take responsibility for anything and everything that could potentially go wrong? Is it because if we don't like the outcome, we can then blame someone else? Oh, that wasn't my fault. It's not like I am the one in charge. Oh no, it's this person. It's that person. Well, didn't you see them? They are the leader, not me. It couldn't possibly be my fault. They are the leader. All the weight and the responsibility falls directly on them. However, by forfeiting our power, we also lose any and every possible positive advantage to having that power. So then, is it really worth it? Is our own fear actually holding us back? Are we afraid of what someone else might say if something goes wrong because we know what we would say if something went wrong? If we acted from a place of expectation that the universe really does have our back, regardless of the outcome or outcomes, would that then change how we viewed ourselves and how we viewed ourselves in relation to that power? Will we then have more compassion for those people who are in a position of power? Or would it still be just as easy easy to give anything and everything all up? Well, it's case by case. It's never a race. The highway to greatness is individually paced. We chase and we chase because we all want to race, but our subliminal guidance won't work with such haste. Timing is everything. Though we we may want to speed things up and move them along in a manner that feels comfortable for us, if a piece of the puzzle is missing, the full picture will never be completely visible. Do we know this and still act in accordance to its opposite? Does our desire to be great in whatever shape or form we view as greatness actually cloud our judgment? Does our fear of failing or falling, of looking stupid or being wrong, actually force us to relinquish our power back over into the universe for somebody or someone else to grab hold of? I break apart my shadow to see what is inside. I see there's lots of pieces and ones that like to hide. I travel through a doorway to look for the lost parts. Instead of things gone missing, I'm closer to my heart. What once seemed dark and scary is now all the best parts. So I'll keep searching my shadow to find more of my heart. I think I'll change perspective and embrace all parts of me. If I can do that for myself, it might help others see. Sometimes what is the best of us is hidden very deep. I'll unearth what might seem damaged and re-examine it. What once were things looked over might now be the best of it. What once were things look over might now be the best of it. Thank you so much for your time and attention thus far. We are just going to take a brief moment to recognize today's sponsor, Anchor, for providing a free platform for people like myself to get their podcast off the ground. With little to no previous technical know-how, Anchor makes the whole process pretty straightforward. Go to anchor.fm, that's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M, or download the free Anchor app today to get started. With just a click of a button, you too can be heard on multiple platforms. Yes, what once were things looked over might now be the best of it. 
How many times throughout life have we thought, oh no, I I am a horrible person. I'm terrible. I must be a terrible and horrible person. I'm so mean. I must be mean. I can't believe I just thought that. How could I be so judgmental? How could I just assume that that person already knows how to do this and that or such and such? Or or why wouldn't someone have taught them how to do that already? Why wouldn't they have taken it upon themselves to acquire the necessary knowledge and skills? Don't they know they can be whatever they want to be? Don't they know they can do whatever they want to do? Don't they want to be whatever they want to be and do whatever they want to do? What is wrong with them? Oh my gosh. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me that I can't do that? I could never do that. No, 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 I can't, I I couldn't, I can't, I couldn't, no, no, I can't, I couldn't, because, no, because I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, because, because I'm not good enough, no, I'm not good enough yet, no, I am not good enough yet, so I can't. I can't do that. I can't go. I can't go and do that. No, 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 no. I'll stay. I'll just stay. What the F, self? Crumble your backstory. Let it all fall. Step out of the rubble. Leave what's left at the wall. What is left at the is the past and not your concern. Make a right at the corner. Now is your turn. It is your turn. It is your turn, self. It is completely your turn. Up until this very moment, you lived in doubt and fear of your own abilities and capabilities, but not any more. You are 10 milliseconds away from the rest of your life, and it starts with that very first step. Strong and straight as an arrow, leading you all the way, pulling and guiding you further. Your direction is not to stay. Questions stuck in the negative, not understanding part of you. Questions leading you nowhere and further from you too. Get out of the way. Let it all fall. Remember you're stronger, not pressed to a wall. Though you may feel stuck and tired sometimes, the lesson here is you'll always be fine. You will always be fine. You will always be fine. You will always be fine. fine. I'm 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 fine, self. Hmm. Self? I think we might call that faith. I have faith that everything will all end up okay. I have faith that things will turn out all right in the end. I have faith that I will know what to do. I have faith that God will find a way. I have faith that things will be the way they are supposed to be when they are supposed to be. I have unending faith that things are just the way they are for a reason. I have faith that we have all been given the abilities, knowledge, experience, and know-how to find a solution that works for us in order to lead ourselves out of the haze and confusion that has been bestowed upon us. The song of her choice is the sound of her voice. She returned all the backlash that called it once noise. It was given to her, so it will fill her with poise. The desired effect always influence and choice. And universe, I choose me. I choose me. I choose to bet on myself. Yes, self. 
I choose you. Who will you choose to bet on? And friends, I believe that is all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining us from wherever or whenever you are doing so today. Feel free to comment, message, support, donate, and subscribe by going to our host platform, Anchor. We're located at A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M slash A dash detoured, D-E-T-O-U-R-E-D dash path, P-A-T-H. We are available and searchable internationally on 21 platforms, but going directly to our host platform, Anchor, is the best way to stay in the know and get connected. Leave a review and our rating if you liked what you heard, and hit subscribe to get all the latest podcasts, updates, and information. By choosing to support and donate, your generous contributions will help to continue the workflow, volume, and frequency of a detoured path so that we can continue to flood your airways on a more regular basis. And if you feel like someone you know could really benefit from listening to today's episode, feel free to share it and pass it along. In the meantime, if you're looking for more thoughts, stories, and insights while you're waiting for the next episode of A Detoured Path to come out, you can find the book Short Girl Diaries, unedited and grammatically incorrect by Chelsea Marie Maugé. Last name is spelled capital M-A-U, G as in great, E-R as in red which is available on Amazon in both print and Kindle formats, as well as through the Kindle Unlimited program, where you can read pages for free. We have also recently become a contributor for Medium.com, and articles in spoken word can be found at chelsea-marie-mauget.medium.com. Come find us on Instagram by following at Chelsea Marie Mauget, all one word, C-H-E-L-S-E-A-M-A-R-I-E-M-A-U-G-E-R. Stop by and say hi. Say the podcast sent you. So, until next time, my name is Chelsea Marie Mauget, and you've been listening to A Detoured Path, where we fully, firmly believe that sometimes the only thing we all really need in life is just a little reroute.